Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. This is Quick Internal Medicine, and today we're gonna talk about the differences between the prerenal and acute tubular necrosis (AGN) lab differences. Okay, based on lab values, we're gonna differentiate with this prerenal AGN, and this is a really very very important for your USMLE. Remember, okay, guys. So let's talk about this and let's give a kick start. So let's talk about this as a urine osmolarity. Okay, urine osmolarity in case of prerenal is gonna be what? It's gonna be more or less. Tell me, it's gonna be more. Of course, it's, it's more than five hundred. Remember, whereas in ATN, that's acute tubular necrosis, it's gonna be less than three fifty. So you have to remember two things. One is whether it's raised or low. And second thing, you have to remember the values. Really very important because sometimes they give four fifty, sometimes they give three hundred and three hundred. Okay, uh, so you have to remember the values. Right, the urine osmolarity will be more than 500 in prerenal and less than 350 in ATN. And if you talk about what you call urine sodium, okay, urine sodium will be low in less than 20 in case of prerenal, and more will be excreted sodium through the acutibular necrosis more than 40. Okay, and if you talk about the PUN by creatinine ratio, it's gonna be more than. 20 is to 1, okay, whereas in 18 it's going to be less than 10 is to 1, remember, okay. And if you talk about the phena, that's, okay, so it's going to be what you call, uh, it's going to be less than 1%, okay, less than 1% in case of uh, prenatal, and it's going to be more than 1% than what you call in ATN. Wait, what, uh, this is really very important, Vina. You should never ever forget this. This value is really very important and very important topic for nephrologists or for those who are doing a residency in uh, internal medicine. They want to know more about the Vina. Then this is really very important. Okay, we will, we're gonna make a medical video lecture on that later. Okay, guys. So that's a fraction excretion of sodium, right? If you know, right? So now let's talk about the urine sediments. The urine sediments they are scanty in a prerenal, whereas it's full. There's a brownish pigmented granule cast, epithelial cast could be seen in ATN. Okay, guys. So these are the important differences between lab differences between the prerenal and the ATN. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.